Right, hello everybody, what's up, Liga? Oh my god, look at the dog begging for food. Oh, look at him. Oh, my god. He just wants some meats. But anywho, hello everyone. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. And another video which I have been thinking of doing for quite a while. Yes, ever since the new updates for, you know, horses and whatnot. Because, you know, horses are the best thing in this game. Um, I've been thinking, for low-level players, what what is the best starter horse for you? What what should you what should you buy as a as a starter player? Oh, one hundred percent discount on fast travel. Thank you, Rockstar. That's lovely. Um, but yeah, what is my personal opinion best horse to go for when you're like a brand new player, or you've been grinding for a little bit and you still have some. You got some money spare. And you you want you want to get a horse, but you haven't unlocked the Norfolk Roasters, the Arabians, stuff like that. So, without further ado, we are in Tumbleweed, so we can go over straight to the Tumbleweed Stables. Uh, currently riding Crumpet, the Norfolk Roadster. If you're new to the channel, uh, the Norfolk Roadsters are my favourite horse, especially Lenny. You'll see him in a minute. But um, we're gonna go into the stables, and we're gonna go and show you what horse it is. Now this horse. Um, before it's update, so it is one of the Tuckerman, not, uh, Norfolk Rose, not Norfolk Rose there, um, Foxtrot, uh, or Mustang, it's one of those three, um, but before that, um, I believe this horse was, like, neglected, no one really used it, no one really bothered with it, but now, uh, now that there has a really, really, really good update, um, people are going to start using it, and it's accessible at a very, very early age. I think even level 1, I think you're allowed to get it, or possibly level 5 is the cap, I don't know. Um, but um, obviously, Gypsy Cobb you can't get at low level. Um, you can, however, get the Missouri Fox Shot, but I don't think you can get the gold versions. I, I don't, I'm not too sure. But anywho, we've got to scroll all the way down. Oh, there. Lovely jubbly. Lenny, that is my favourite horse, by the way, guys. Um... No one will beat an Norfolk Roaster, I'm sorry. But we have a spare stall. We're actually going to buy this horse. And we're going to show it off and have a look at its stats and what it means and stuff like that. So, it is a multi-class horse. So straight off the bat, when you're a new player, a horse which you would really want to go for is the multi-class. The multi-class, personally, is the best class of all horses. Uh, it's like, they're really good against gunfire, really good against, um, animal, like, predators, wolves, stuff like that. Um, I think I've made a video on horses versus alligators, go check that video out, I do explain, or did a, did a little test on them. But, uh, I'm going to say, for a new player, um, who's probably got, like, you know, maybe a thousand dollars, doesn't really want to get, you know, a... T Kentucky Saddler or a, another more, uh, maybe a standard bread you may don't really want. You want a horse which is really, really good, the Mustang. Now, obviously, the Wild Bay and the Gorilla Doon and the Tiger Striped Bay. Uh, the, Tiger, the Tiger Striped is, is, is on the verge of, yeah, it's okay. If you want to get this one, get this one. The other two, just they don't exist, essentially. The other four, however, at the bottom, the Buckskin, the Black Orvo, Ovo, Ovo, I think, uh, Chestnut Turvo, and the Red Dome Ovo, are the ones, for a low-level player, in my personal opinion, is what you should be going for. I mean, as we can see, at level 1 bonding, it is $500 as well, which is kind of really, really good. Kind of a nice, cheap, really good multi-class horse. Um, so we're going to have a look at this one, for example. Uh, it has... I think that is 7 health, 7 stam at level 1 bonding. So at max bonding at level 4, you will get, uh, I believe, 10 out of 10 on both health and stam. So for me personally, I am a stam, like it, not a stam, I'm like a stat person. I do like looking at the stats before I buy a horse, essentially, or I just look at the multi-class. But that is a perk. That's a perk for me. Because when you're low level, you're grinding constantly. You're doing bounties. You're doing... Stranger missions, you're constantly getting shot at, and you want a horse which can withstand the bullets even longer than another horse. And t having a level ho 4 bonding horse at um, level 10 bonding, not level 10 bonding, level 10 health, sorry. Uh, it's, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning, I can't speak. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, level 10 uh, health, that's really, really good. 
That means you can you can last a little bit longer, and then you could possibly even not even die, which is good. Then we look at the speed and acceleration. Now, as a newbie player, or newbie player, I'm so sorry, new players. As a new player, I should say that, because noob, I feel that's a very terrible word. Um, you can see at the speed, I believe, is that? That is six, and then the acceleration is at four. So the acceleration isn't the best. It's not up there with other horses of, like, the Arabian at low-level bonding or with worse saddle. Because uh, when you're a low level, you only have the low level saddles. And obviously, as you know, other saddles give you different perks, uh, decreased stam gen and stuff like that. And obviously stirrups as well, you need those. Um, so, so the saddle I normally use as a um, preference for new players is the Natcha Golade saddle and the hooded stirrups. They're my go-to every time because the speed will be increased by an extra three. And the acceleration will be increased by an extra three as well. So that's why I always go with that one. Um, but um, as a new player, that is good though. Acceleration of four and speed of six. I would be happy with that. It's speedy. It's not that quick, like getting off the bat. It's not like, brum, but the speed, it will keep that speed up quite high. And at a price of $500, it is 100% worth it. It really is. It is obviously handed standard handling as well that's another perk um but we are going to buy one right now and it is going to be the black one or the black and white one um for those of you who know me for streaming uh i did have a, a missouri fox trailer called toby i did sell toby um just so i could get the mustang back because i feel like if we're doing more experiments we need to ex experiment my favorite beginner horse in the experiments so we might as well buy one. Uh, so this is the saddle, as I've said, the one I normally go for uh, for a new player. It does, as you can see, the drain, 20%, stuff like that. That's what you're really looking for. But um, as a, you'll have the low level saddle, that does not matter. This horse is going to be perfect for a new player. I don't even need to do that, do I? I just need to equip. There we go. Equip appearance. Now let's have a look at appearance. This, obviously, for me, Mustang. I like the natural, the regular, and I would say the loose looks kind of good as well. Like that, or maybe that. Whichever one tickles your fancy, but I feel I want to try... Uh, oh, I clicked off it. Idiot! Uh, shot. No, regular. Because Toby is the horse I normally have. He normally has this kind of mane. We're going to try it. There is, I think my dog's climbing up the stairs. That's why I can hear some weird banging going on. But uh, regular, and we're going to go with that. I mean, it might not look the best to some people, but I love this mane and tail, like, type. So I'm going to go for it. Um, obviously, as a low-level player as well, you I think your first ever purchased horse, it's free or really, really cheap to ho insure it. So that's another perk for the Mustang as well. And as you can see with my saddle, it's increased by an extra three um, gold um, bars at the bottom. So now it's increased to nine acceleration, and it's also increased... 7 speed. Oh, no, acceleration, sorry. And speed is 9. So, it is a pretty good horse. It is really, really, really good. And it also, it looks good as well. Like, I would say with some of the um, Fox Trotters, I mean, the Blue Rome, I really don't like. Because it just looks like another copy and pasted coat, if you know what I mean. But the Mustangs, they all look very, very unique as well. Even though they are called buckskins and stuff like that. But, to be honest, I would 100% say for a new player, this horse right here, not the gold one, obviously the black and white one here, it does cost gold, it's going to take longer for you to get, but the um, black, uh, not the black one, the brown one, the white and like peachy coloured one, and then the red one, I would say go to for a beginner player, that is the horse for you, you should buy that, it is a really, 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 really good horse. Um, obviously, this is my personal opinion. I would say if you don't want the Mustang, I would recommend the Tuckerman, one of the early Tuckermans as well, um, or a Fox Trotter, any of the three. But I, I would say the go to one is the uh, Mustang. As an early player, this is the one you want to go for. Um, so I hope that helps in a way. Um, obviously, at low levels, you won't be accessible to, you know, North Roasters. Brent and stuff like that because they're roll horses and you have to level up your rolls and stuff like that. But I would say the Mustang, yes, is a horse you really, really want. As a low level player, 
It's good, it's quick, it's got the health and stam, it's worth it, I think, in my personal opinion. Please, in the comments, tell me what is, what do you think for a beginner player, what is the best horse, but I'm going to go with the Mustang. So I hope you enjoyed. As I normally say, please subscribe, like, or leave a dislike, leave a comment down below, as I normally say. And uh, I will see you when I possibly stream. I think I'm going to stream either today or tomorrow. So see you then, stay safe, and have a good one.